Jadon Sancho's transfer to Manchester United has made significant progress in the last 24 hours. And in this video, I'm going to update you on every single thing that has happened. Who's been saying what and when and why it is significant. Now, before I do begin, can you do a few things for me? Number one, drop a like on this video. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share it. It really does help us. Number two, the Premier League kicks off this weekend. Make sure you join our Fantasy League competition. Eric Cantona signed shirt as the prize. Over 1,500 entrants so far, but only a couple of days to go until it closes. And make sure you join our Discord community. There is a link in the description. It's free. 1,200 of us on there already. See it as an extension of the YouTube comment section. It's good fun, and there's a lot of us on there. And let's talk about Sancho and these major significant developments that have happened in the last 24 hours. Now, the fire was started again by Fabrizio Romano with his update that I already covered yesterday. Him saying that Sancho is ready and buzzing to join United. He's not going to go on strike. He's happy to join, but United need to pay that 120 million, which Fabrizio has said all along. But he's been quite alone in saying that. But not anymore after the UK press all joined in unison thanks to another clear brief from Manchester United. It started with James Ducker saying there's been a breakthrough in the agent fees and personal terms. Rob Dawson joined in, said the same thing. Simon Stone joined in. Howard Nurse from the BBC. So you've got the BBC there, you've got ESPN, you've got the Telegraph. It's a clear brief from the UK press from United that a breakthrough has happened with these terms with Sancho's terms, with the agent's terms. Now, why is that significant, you may ask? Because Fabrizio gets all of his information from agents and from lawyers. So that's why he's always been firm that there's no problems with these terms. But from United's perspective, and United are feeding the likes of Ducker and Dawson and Nurse and Stone with their information, United are now confident, confident enough to release this brief to the press. And that is a major step in the right direction because now it leaves United without the safety net of pointing towards the terms as being the reason why we don't sign Sancho. So United, Woodward and Judge must be confident enough that that is now not an issue and that all the focus can go back on the fee. And that is a massively significant step because it takes away, as I said, that safety net from United now can't really blame the terms and Sancho's wages on the reason that Sancho doesn't join United if, it, if he doesn't. It's now all about the fee. And it's been a major significant update on that as well. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. But before that update, I want to give a shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring the season countdown content here on United People's TV. There is a link in the description, your one-stop betting hub. Go on there. You used to just be able to compare odds on Odds Checker, but now you can bet directly on the app. Significant improvement there and a significant update when it comes to Sancho. Now, as I've said, I've covered everything from all the British press being briefed and why that is significant. And Fabrizio and Ed Ahrens, writing for The Guardian, also had an update which has caused more movement, I suppose. This is in regards to the fee, because in there, the article written by Ed Ahrens and Fabrizio Romano saying that Sancho is expected to earn £250,000 a week. Dortmund is still insisting on that £120 million, But also mentioning there that United were understood to a last month have offered an initial £90 million plus a further 18 in performance-related add-ons. Now that caused quite a big storm. £90 million, huge bid. But Fabrizio clarified it on Twitter when it sort of blew up, saying, look, that was the unofficial bid from United in August. They're still waiting for the next step because Dortmund want 120 million without any add-ons. So Fabrizio, they're not confident enough with the source, whoever's provided this source of this unofficial bid. There is no official bid at the moment. So don't go crazy thinking that United have offered 90 million. It's guaranteed. Fabrizio is clearly not confident enough with that information at the moment. But it's still significant in the fact that I think we can now put Sancho's wages, the agent fees, commissions, all of that to bed. That now cannot be considered a reason why United will not sign Jadon Sancho this summer. All eyes are on the fee. United have put all eyes on the fee by releasing this brief to the press that, look, we've made a breakthrough. So United themselves have taken that safety net away. And that's why it's significant, because at the moment, all the updates have been coming from 
Fabrizio, really, and from agents and from lawyers that are in and around the deal. But this is from United. And that is why it's a significant step. Now, Dortmund are very quiet on this and they have been quiet for a long time. And that fee still is the hurdle. And it's a major hurdle to have, especially if Fabrizio is right and Dortmund really want 120 million with no add-ons. I mean, that's quite a big ask, even in a non-coronavirus market. But the reality is at this point, I think only one outcome can happen. And that is United paying the money that Dortmund want. Because up until this point, if you look at the 10th of August deadline that Dortmund set, whether it was artificial or not, at the moment, it does not look artificial. There really has been silence in the German press since that 10th of August deadline. Nothing's really been said from Dortmund's side of things because maybe they're not really willing to negotiate at all. They're not sitting at the table. United are there with a knife and fork on their own. But I don't think that Dortmund will budge. So I think the only real outcome here that's positive for United is if United are willing to pay the money that Dortmund want. Because in that situation, both clubs win. Yes, it's a massive outlay for United. But we sign 20-year-old Jadon Sancho, who is already one of the world's best players, who will continue to grow and become a full-on superstar. So he is worth the investment. If we're willing to spend 80 million on Harry Maguire, how are we not willing to spend 120 million euros on Jadon Sancho? The mind boggles. And Dortmund also win because if the 120 million offer comes in, they can say, look, we promised Sancho that he could leave if 120 million offer came in. It came in. It's a bit like Usman Dembele. They say he's not leaving. The big, big comes in. Eh, we have to let him leave. That's the situation now. But it really is a significant update that United are now briefing the UK press that, look, terms are all agreed because that takes away that safety net from United. All eyes are now on the fee and the fee alone. And we've got nine days until the start of the Premier League. But will Solskjaer get his man? And look, he was speaking to the BBC yesterday, BBC Five Live, and he was pointing out the fact that you have to trust in the process. We have to improve and get results, but adding players with different qualities than we have. And Jaden Sancho is the man who adds that quality, is the sprinkling of stardust that this United team still lacks. Bruno Fernandes can be the centrepiece, but Jaden Sancho can be the star piece. And that is where we're at now. It is, it is a major update, I think, on Sancho. The fact that the UK press is saying it now in unison with Fabrizio, who has been saying this all along, basically on his own, and the rest have now joined. So fair play to Fabrizio for standing firm with his own information, which clearly was correct the whole way through. But now, with nine days to go until the start of the Premier League, with I think 10 days until United's first game in the Premier League, it's all about the fee. Can that be agreed because the transfer is close now or well, it's closer because the terms are all pushed to one side let's see what happens with the fee and that's where all the developments are now going to be from now on before i do finish this video make sure you do follow the link in the description download the odds checker app your one-stop betting hub they're a big shout out to them for helping us by sponsoring the season countdown content it's free to download but let me know what you think about these sancho updates in the comments below.